guys this is the end product of my delicious ecosystem soup from Chimino's kitchen guys can you see this so yummy and delicious guys see this is how I like my meat. see hello guys welcome back to chimino's kitchen welcome back guys miss you guys so 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 much today's video is going to be brief i'll be showing you guys how to prepare delicious egusi soup from chimino's kitchen guys i'll show you guys how to prepare egusi soup delicious one so let's just get started sit down and watch the video till the end so that you can be able to get the whole info on how to prepare Niger delicious egusi soup from Chimino's kitchen. So guys, let's get started. These are the things ingredients I'll be using to prepare the egusi. So guys, these are my ingredients I'll be using to prepare the egusi soup. This is the main thing. This is the egusi. This is the main thing. The egusi is blended melon. I've already blended it. This is my okaze dried okaze leaf. This is my dry. This is my dry okaze. It's already washed. This is blended pepper. I'll be using this blended pepper. It's tatashi blended tatashi and pepper. This is my red oil. This is dry fish. This is my toki. It's washed. This is my meat. It's already washed also. And this is a shaki, a cow leg, using it. This onion, this is my fish, this is my titled fish. All these things are also, anyway, you can use any beef stock, any stock of yours you like. This is crayfish and dawadawa. And also this red pepper to make it a little bit spicy. And this is my fish. This is my maggi and salt. So basically, these are the things I'll be using. You can add any other more things. How about this? Anything you like, you can add more. So these are the things I'll be using to prepare the obusi. So let's just get started. Boil my meat. So, First thing I need to do is to boil my meat. Yeah, so the meat is already washed. My beef is already washed, so I want to transfer it to the pot. I'll be using this bigger pot because I'm making much. So I'll be using this bigger pot. I transfer the meat to the pot. Things in the turkey. I'll transfer it to the pot. So that I add a little bit of onion inside to spice it. I don't need to add uh, water yet. I want to boil the meat. I want to season the meat so that the whole seasoning will enter inside the meat before I add water. So I want to add some pepper inside. I like it. I want to add my turkey as well. I add some some maggi to spicy it. These are my maggi. I just want to add some maggi inside to my maggi inside so just for spice so I add this and my salt so I want to add some inside for seasoning also salt for seasoning so after that I need to turn everything to how it looks like I'll turn it. I didn't add water. 
I want to season the meat first before adding water. So that the whole ingredient is the reason I'm doing that is for the whole uh, ingredients to incorporate inside the meat. So that is why I'm doing that. So I need to turn it so that you can get the whole spice inside. I will allow it to steam for like 10 minutes before I can add water inside. So look at it, guys. Look at how it looks like so. I have to wait for like 10 minutes before adding water inside. So while we wait for the meat, so this is the dry fish I've already transferred into this pot. I have a boiled water ready. This is boiled water. So I want to make the fish, the dry fish, I add the hot water to the dry fish to make it a little bit soft and also easy for me to extract the bone and wash the, the meat, the, 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 the fish. So I'll just leave it like for like five minutes to soften the, the dry fish before I can be able to, 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 to do justice to that. So, and this is the meat. This is how it looks like. It's already boiling inside. So if, 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 if you notice that the meat is burning, you can add water, but there is still some water inside. So I'll, not, I'll just leave it for some minutes before I can be able to add water. So why that is on? This is my dawa dawa. So I want to uh, on this is my dawa dawa. This is how I do it. My grandma taught me how to do this. So I have to put it like this for the fire. And so that is the old descent will come out very well. I have to make it like this for a few minutes, maybe like two minutes before I can blend, before I can blend it. Yeah, this is it. This is the dawa dawa. It's optional anyway. Some people don't like it. So it's optional. If you don't like it, you can as well not use it. But I like the odor. I like the smell in my ears. So this is it. So I just do it in like a few minutes. It's okay. So and I will blend it and add it to my ears. So after a few minutes, this part is looking like it's already boiled. So I want to add water now. So I add the water. Yeah, so I add the water and then I will stir it together. So okay like this I need to cover it to boil for some minutes. So we'll come back in 20 minutes time. So guys after a few minutes so this is the meat it's done so I don't want it to be too soft so I want to remove them. I want to remove the meat because I don't want it to be too soft. Yeah, so I want to put it out because I've not bought my fish already. So then I want to add my fish. I need to season my fish a little bit. I add the fish inside to boil a little bit. So I don't like leaving the fish inside because it will scatter. So I just want it to steam for a few minutes. Then I'll remove it. So this is it. We wait for a few minutes. So guys, while we wait for the fish, so I want to transfer my ebusi 
is my agency. I want to transfer it into this pot because I want to make the seed the dough. So I add this is boiled water. Add a little bit of boiled water inside. Then I add my bread oil to the agusi. I want to make a dough with it. So I add the first here. So I add water to the agusi. This is like a little. I don't like it, so always give me a hot bun if I fry it. So I like to do it this way. The purpose of doing it, I like to get that seed, that goosey dough inside my office. With seed. So I like it that way. So that's why I always mix it with water to add it. So So this is how it looks like. I may have already mixed it with red oil. And I'll set this aside and wait for my fish before adding it. So guys, I want to remove the fish. I want to remove the fish now so, so that it won't scatter. I want to add my dry fish. This is my dry fish. So I want to add it inside the pot. I already extracted the bone, so I want to add the dry fish inside. When you have the remaining onion, I add it inside. This is my crayfish. I add the crayfish inside. Okay. And this is my blended papashi and pepper, red pepper. I add it inside. This is the remaining pepper. I like my obesity to be spicy. So I add this and stir it together. This is my dawa dawa. I've already pounded it and add some water inside. So I'll be transferring it to my pot. So this is it. I'll allow it to boil. I'll allow it to boil before adding my pepper inside. Yes. Yes, right. Looks like. It. So I want to add my I want to add my yogusi now. So the yogusi I make, so I want to add it. The yogusi, so I'll be adding a little bit of portion of it inside. I want it to form a dough. That's why I don't add it straight like that. I used to add oil and water. I enjoy my yogusi that way. This is it so turn it like this. Just turn it like this and just take it for a few minutes to cook the agusi. I like adding much agusi to my agusi. I like cooking only agusi. I don't like adding tikna to my agusi. I don't like it but you can add tikna if you want. If you don't want to use this much, you can, see you can add tikna. Maybe like achi or kokoyame de or yam or for you can add all these things, but I don't like them. I like cooking pure yogusi. So they just wait for a few minutes for the yogusi to cook. If I if you didn't cook yogusi very well, that's why some people complain about the yogusi disturbing them after eating it, making them to poach. So I don't want to cook my yogusi, I allow it to cook very well. So let's just wait and get back. So guys, this is how the yogusi looks like. 
get all the leaves here so i'll be making use of the one i have you can ask uh, you can add ogo you can add the uh, pumpkin you can add so many anything you, you choose any leaf of the choice vegetable of the soup but i'm using the cassie to cook the soup guys this is so yum i have to add everything now because it's already cooked i add my Cow leg, the admixture with the cow leg. Then I add my my all my beef stock, everything I need to add it because the soup is already done. So and I already boiled this, so I have I'll add everything. Put the fish, the turkey, everything. Guys. This is the end product of my delicious Edusu soup from Chimino's kitchen. Guys, can you see this? So yummy and delicious, guys. See, this is how I like my look. See, this is it, guys. You can eat yours with pando yam, simple or whatever you like it. Guys, so it's the cut it. I'll end my video here. And guys, if you just watched my video now, please try and like my video, comment, and please, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page at Chimino, Chimino 4. Guys, please, please, please to encourage me. And also tune into Chimino's channel every week, every week to get a new video, either in cooking or family vlog. And thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. See you guys in my next video.